it is a nice Friday, isn't it? It's a great joy to come your way through Boston Pezos once again. You know, I am in my full Liverpool apparel. Trust me, 11 games unbeaten at Anfield. This is Anfield. Never work alone. But that's not the reason why I'm coming your way this morning. I am coming your way because I woke up to a very disturbing news this morning about an attempt to kill an owl in a particular farm in the village near in Salon. The people shot at the owl, they missed the owl and the owl fled. To ensure the owl never returned to the farm, they decided to cut down the tree on which the owl was resting. The tree finally came tumbling down with two beautiful chicks of this beautiful owl. Apparently, the owl was nesting his chicks on this particular tree. When the chicks finally came down and this they discovered, the farmer decided to kill the chicks of the owl. Fortunately for me, my brother-in-law, who also had a farm nearby, was visiting his farm this early morning and chance upon the scene. He knowing my passion for hours, decided to call me immediately and tell me about what has transpired close to his farm. I talked to the farmers. I begged them not to harm these beautiful owl chicks. Eventually, I managed to negotiate with them and parted with some amount of money to be able to rescue these owls. As I speak to you, these beautiful owls indeed the chicks of the northern face owls are en route to my residence in Accra. I have to purchase a beautiful cage for them. In fact, I call it an owl mansion. And it's a source of great joy, indeed a great honor, to host owl chicks in my residence. My mission is to take care of them, nurture them. When, they, when their wings are fully developed, I do a release back to the world. I take them back to the world. It requires that we need to even train them on the art, in the art of hunting, feeding them with live birds, live lizards, live mouse, so that they know how to hunt to facilitate their survival in the forest. So in the next few months, three or four months, I have an adios tax on my hand. Something I am really committed to and to ensure it is fulfilled. I also solicited the advice of great vets like Dr. Zika from the Kumasi Zoo, the one in charge of the Kumasi Zoo. He has also prepared some nice piece of advice on how to feed them, how to nurture them so that they can grow. And when they are finally released back into the wild, they will survive on their own. So I'm going to show you a video of these beautiful cuties. I bet you, you will love them. They live with me now. There's going to be a party this weekend at my residence to celebrate their arrival. It's gonna be a great time. I'll welcome any pieces of advice, suggestions that can help me take care of these beautiful hours as a professional photographer. So in the comments, leave the comments down below on any ideas you have that will help me take care of these beautiful cuties. Watch them and continue to pray for me. Living with hours is just a fun. That'll be my dream, reality now.